Hi guys, I hope you have something to take notes on because there's a lot to talk about when it comes to immunity and essential oils and that's what I'm going to talk about. So here we go. What I love about essential oils is that the molecules are small enough to actually go into a cell and to clean up in there while a lot of antibiotics are just way too big so they can only clean up around the cell. So that's why I've personally noticed that a lot of times essential oils are more effective. Um, the main oils in your kit for immunity are thieves, that's like the main one, but also purification, lemon, which is also in thieves, in frankincense, um, RC for colds, and digies for stomach bugs. First of all, you can get your diffuser out. For example, put two to three drops of thieves and purification in there. Um, you can also add lemon to it. Um, after 10 to 15 minutes, thieves will have done its job and killed the germs in the air. Plus, your house smells great. Um, RC is great for when you have a cold and you're having trouble breathing, so especially great overnight when you're sleeping. Um, also, um, as I talked about earlier, you can make yourself a capsule. Um, we have the flu bomb recipe, as we like to call it, which is one drop of thieves, one drop of oregano, uh, two drops of lemon, two drops of frankincense. Just fill the rest up um, with carrier oil in your capsule and take that two to three times a day. Um, also, you can make yourself some thieves tea. It's good for immunity as well as sore throats, very effective. Um, just put some warm water with one drop of thieves, one drop of lemon, and a spool of, spoonful of honey in a mug and um, drink that. You can also add one drop of thieves to a spoonful of honey by itself and swallow it down that way. Um, for sore throats, you can also rub purification on the outside of your throat. Um, then you can use uh, oils topically for immunity, so you can make an immunity roller. There are a few different recipes, but 15 to 20 drops of essential oils with carrier oil in a 10 milliliter bottle is um, what, we, what we usually do. So for example, you can do thieves, lemon, frankincense, or thieves and purification, or just thieves. Um, apply that on pulse points and bottom of your feet and along your spine. That's called the raindrop technique uh, down the spine. Um, so if you want to do raindrop, uh, the raindrop technique, technique without a roller, you can, um, what you do is you put the carrier oil um, along the spine, so you rub that in first, and then you put um, one drop at a time, use lemon, and then frankincense, and thieves, and peppermint, um, and just rub one oil in at a time, and then use peppermint last um, as it acts as a driver oil, so it pushes the other oils deeper into the body. To finish the process, lay a damp compress over the back for five to 10 minutes, and then just uh, wipe away any excess oil. Um, so that's another great way to use oils when you're sick or when you think you might be getting sick. Uh, lavender and peppermint have also helped us bring fevers down. Um, then also um, baths are always great, so you can do that. Um, some Epsom salt is always good with that too. Some Epsom salt with uh, central oils. Uh, take a relaxing bath. Um, if it's a stomach bug, digest and peppermint will be your best friends, um, helping you battle the nausea. Patchouli is also very effective to help minimize vomiting. Um, what the things that are in uh, patchouli help to relax the stomach muscles and keep them from contracting so often. Just add a drop to your tongue every 15, min 15 minutes until the symptoms subside. Um, and uh, for runny nose, one drop of lavender down the bridge of your nose and across the sinus and temple areas is great. Um, with RC, you can really easily make a cough rub. Just use um, coconut oil and um, just put some drops of RC in there. You can also put some lemon and a couple, there's another thing. I forget what the cough rub recipe is. RC is the most important one, but you can just look it up in our group. Um, and then also, um, when you're ready to add more oils and supplements to your stash, try oregano. It's a big antibacterial oil. Um, Inner Defense, Ningxia Red, or Emu Power. So those are my recommendations for immunity. I know there's a lot, so I hope you were able to take some notes or you just rewatched the video. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the class.